Hi, welcome to Tony's Quick Tips. This week I'd like to spend just a minute or three talking about the purpose of your content because as more and more professionals get into using content marketing, the mistake they make is thinking that all good content is good marketing and that's just not true. Think of it in fishing terms. If you want to go out and catch a fish, you've got to make sure you use the right bait. And so it is with our content as well. And there's two parts to it. What content to use and where to put it. Now, depending on what you're trying to achieve with your marketing, some great content simply won't resonate and it won't work for you. So let's look at some really big objectives that most businesses might have. We might do some content marketing firstly to create some brand awareness or to get the market familiar with us and know who we are. Now, the sort of stuff that works well, what to use when we're trying to do that, at infographics or graphics or blog posts or videos, stuff that is quick and engaging and people can take in easily and they can understand and generate some relevant information from very quickly. And the places where it makes the most sense to put that bait in the water is out in the areas where people are using search. So on social media platforms, on SlideShare, on YouTube, places like that where search is really, really important because people are going out searching for content and they're searching for information and they're looking for things that you are a specialist in. So you need to put out content that is quick and easy to grab and it's quick and easy to understand in places where they go searching for it. If however you are looking for your content to help you generate leads, you need to take a slightly different approach. The sort of bait that you need to use there is informative resource, stuff that gives people the sort of information that helps them make decisions. So ebooks and white papers and templates and research papers, those things are really, really handy. And the sort of places where you need to put it, some social media places, such as SlideShare, that are known to be information rich resources that people might go searching in, but your own website. That's the sort of place where this lead generation content is most effective because that becomes a resource hub for those people that are looking for that information that will help them make decisions. If on the other hand, you're just trying to create some content that helps people stay engaged with you and your brand until they're ready to buy again or to seek advice again, and you're really just trying to nurture the relationship, ongoing content, so blog posts, further infographs, emails, e-zines, newsletters, those sorts of things that are ongoing repeat content, freshened up on a regular basis, but there's an ongoing theme to it. That becomes really, really useful for keeping people engaged. And again, your own website or your own branded email marketing system or YouTube or Vimeo become great places to continue hosting and posting that sort of information. So the big thing for you to remember is that not all good content is effective just because it is good. You need to create good content, but you need to make sure that you put it in the place where it is going to be most effective. And that's the quick tip for today. Awesome.